very good evening and welcome to news tonight on Rajya Sabha TV. I'm Tina Jha. Let's begin with the day's top headlines. Rajya Sabha passes Jaliawala Bagh National Monument Amendment Bill. Tourism and Culture Minister Prahlad Patel says bill will end politicization of the trust. Welcome suggestion to include families of martyrs in the trust. Lok Sabha had passed the bill on the 2nd of August. Rajya Sabha discusses Surrogacy Regulation Bill 2019. Union Health Minister Harshwardhan says it imposes total ban on surrogacy except in the case of needy married couples. Proposes to set up board to monitor surrogacy cases in the country. Lok Sabha expresses concern over air pollution and climate change. Various parties, including BJP, Congress, BJD and TMC, take part in the discussion. Suggestions to deal with the problem include formation of a standing committee on pollution. Forty thousand health and wellness centres to be operational across the country by March 2020. At the World Conference on Access to Medical Products, Union Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan says these centres will strengthen primary healthcare delivery system in the country. And in the last six months, 35 lakh tourists, including 13,000 foreigners, visited Jammu and Kashmir. Union Minister of State for Home Affairs Kishan Reddy tells Lok Sabha stone pelting incidents have reduced after the removal of Article 370. Rajya Sabha on Tuesday passed the Jaliawala Bagh National Memorial Amendment Bill after a discussion. In the last session, the bill had already been passed by Lok Sabha. The amendment in the bill had sought to remove the Congress president as a permanent member of the trust that runs the Jaliawala Bagh National Memorial. It also provides that when there is no leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha, the leader of the single largest opposition party will be the trustee. Replying to the debate, Tourism Minister Prahlad Patel said this will depoliticize the trust. ये परिस्थिति अचानक नहीं बनी है ये बड़ी गलत है नहीं है ये दुनिया आप देश को ये बताना चाह रहे हैं ये अच्छा नहीं है बल्कि अगर वास्तव में राजनीतिकरण खत्म हो रहा है तो मैं देश के प्रधानमंत्री को धन्यवाद दूंगा कि 100 वर्ष के बाद जो हक पहली बार मिल रहा है अगर उस संस्थान को तो अब मिलने जा रहा है कि हमने बड़ा मन किया लोग कह रहे थे कि बड़ा मन करना चाहिए हमने बड़ा मन किया है साहब कि व्यक्तियों से हटाकर जो या तो जनता चुने उनको स्थान मिलना चाहिए आम आदमी को मिलना चाहिए मैं उन तमाम सदस्यों का अभिनंदन करता हूं जिनने इस बात का सुझाव दिया कि शहीदी परिवारों के सदस्य कष्ट में होने चाहिए मैं इसका जरूर अभिनंदन करूंगा कि यह सही कदम During the discussion Congress MP Pratap Singh Bajwa said his party has a history in India's freedom struggle and removing its president as a trustee is objectionable other members also raised some more points ranging from renovation of the memorial and descendants of the massacre victims being included in the trust. There was also a demand that the government provide facilities to family members of the martyrs. We should not do this. This is part of history. Ex officio member Congress and ex ho. तो उसका फर्क है आप जितने मर्जी अपने नॉमिनीज रखो नंबर टू उसमें एक और ऑब्जेक्शन ये है कि गवर्नमेंट ने कहा कि हम किसी ट्रस्टी को भी टर्मिनेट कर सकते तो भैया टर्मिनेट उसका मतलब अगर आपकी मर्जी के मुताबिक कोई आदमी किसी की सोच आपके खिलाफ है तो आप जब मर्जी आप टर्मिनेट कर दो ये तो बात ही नहीं बनती सदियों तक वो सुरक्षित रह सके वहां पर आज वो बुलेट मार्क्स को प्रिजर्व करने का कार्य चल रहा है वहां पे एक थ्री शो का आयोजन के लिए चल रहा है सर कि एक डिजिटल थिएटर बन रहा है कि जिसमें थ्री डायमेंशनल 
ڈاکومینٹری چلے گی کہ لوگ جو آگے جن کو پتا نہیں لگتا تھا کہ یہاں کیا ہوا شہیدوں کے بارے میں لائٹ اینڈ ساؤنڈ شو اور ڈیجیٹل ڈاکومینٹری سے ان کو جان کر ہی دی جائے گی میں دھنیواد دوں گا پردان منتری موڈی جی کو کہ جن کی چیئرمنشپ میں وہ ستھلی جہاں شہید وشرام کر رہے ہیں اس کی سنوائی ہوئی ہے ایمنمنٹ لائے ہیں اس بیل میں ٹھیک ہے آپ کا پریروگیٹیو ہوتا ہے سرکار کا لیکن جو لوگ سہید ہوئے تھے اس سمائے وہ جو سیکڑوں آدمی کو جو حتیٰ کیا گئے تھے ان کی فیملی کا کسی کو آپ نے ٹراسٹ میں رکھا ہے کیا اگر نہیں رکھے ہیں تو ان کو آپ لائیے نہیں تو اگر ایسا ایمنمنٹ آپ لائیے یا صرف کسی کو ہٹانے کے لیے تو اس کو لوگ سوچے گا ہم جنتہ سوچے گا کہ آپ راجنیتی کر رہے ہیں ایسا مت کیجئے تو میرا اندرود ماننی منتی جی آپ کے مادم سے ماننی منتی جی سے یہ ہے کہ جتنے لوگ مارے گئے تھے ان کی سوچی ہونی چاہیے ٹیسٹ میں کون ہو نہ ہو اس پہ راجنیت نہیں ہونی چاہیے The defecate, the photographs and the records that are displayed in the memorial place are in a very wretched condition. Changing and restoring the site of the memorial is more important than changing the trust board. This is my personal opinion, sir. So, parties are changing, they are not 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 changing, राजनैतिक प्रतीकों का स्थान होना मेरे विचार से कदापि उचित नहीं एंड वाई दे आर टेकिंग सच ए सच एन इंटरेस्ट इन इन टेकिंग टोटल कंट्रोल बिकॉज मोन्यूमेंट्स आर नॉट मियर मोन्यूमेंट्स इट टेल्स अ ग्रेट हिस्टरी आई हैव नो रीजन टू सपोर्ट दिस बिल बिकॉज आई थिंक दिस बिल इज ब्रॉड विद इल इंटेंशन The Rajya Sabha also took up surrogacy regulation bill 2019 for consideration and passing. The bill prohibits commercial surrogacy but allows altruistic surrogacy. Its provisions include establishing a national surrogacy board, state surrogacy boards and appointment of appropriate authorities for the regulation of practice and process of surrogacy. The bill, after having been passed by the Lok Sabha on two occasions, in the last parliament, uh, the last Lok Sabha, 16th Lok Sabha, it was passed uh, there in December of 2018. But it could not come in this house because of paucity of time. Now also, in the last five, six months, it has already been passed by the Lok Sabha again, after having gone back to the cabinet and then to the Lok Sabha. And now, after having been passed in the Lok Sabha, it has come back. Uh, it has come to uh, the upper house and I would request the members to deliberate and uh, pass this bill which is uh, uh, going to be a, a real game changer for the country. Initiating the discussion on the bill, Professor Rajiv Gora of the Congress questioned some provisions of the bill saying the rules were complicated and must be simplified. Ram Gopal Yadav of the Samajwadi Party, Kekasha Parveen of the JDU, P. Wilson of DMK and other MPs also participated in the discussion. The discussion will continue on Wednesday as well. In a modern democracy, it's vital that these scientific advances are available to every citizen of India so that they too can have children using surrogacy when required. But in spite of the extended introduction of the minister and the detailed explanations that he gave, I'm not convinced that the bill in its current form is actually serving the purpose that was intended. I feel that surrogate clinic registration is a very good thing. Can we think about, because you are making such a modern legislation, I'm thinking about why not make this registration online? or something like this wherein you don't have to bring again inspector back into the clinic but do it in something because you are making such a modern piece of legislation and therefore why not think about even modern practices as to how the registration can be made. The section of society wanting a surrogate child so it had recommended that the eligibility be widened to include living couples, divorced women, widows, further to analyze persons of Indian origin and overseas citizens of and Indian card holders. This sir because if NRIs are going to take this opportunity that will be very costly for them. 
and the upper house on Tuesday congratulated Abhijit Banerjee for winning the Nobel Prize in Economics for the year 2019. Abhijit Banerjee, Esther Duflo and Michael Kremer won the Economics Nobel for their experimental approach to alleviating global poverty. Honorable members, you are aware the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the Severjee's Riksbank Prize in Economic Science in memory of Alfred Nobel commonly referred to as the Nobel Prize in Economics for the year 2019 to Sri Abhijit Banerjee, along with the Ms. Ishar Istar Daflo and Mr. Michael Kramer for their experimental approach to elevating global poverty. With this achievement, Sri Abhijit Banerjee has joined the coveted list of Indians and Indian original Nobel literates. This is the, indeed a great pride for the entire nation. Sri Banerjee, an Indian origin economist, who is currently the Ford Foundation International Professor of Economics at MIT, USA, along with his fellow awardees, have been instrumental in developing a new experiment-based approach in devising methods to fight global poverty and address problems pertaining to health and education. As a direct outcome of this, experiment-based approach, more than 5 million Indian children have benefited from effective programs of remedial tutoring in schools. I am sure the whole house will join me in congratulating the Nobel laureate Sri Abhijit Banerjee on his achievement. We wish him very best for the future endeavors. Rajya Sabha also lamented the demise of former Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe. Chairman M. Menkaya Naidu remembered Mugabe as a true friend of India and one of the tallest world leaders. Robert Mugabe, who led Zimbabwe with an iron fist from 1980 to 2017, died at the age of 95. Honorable members, I refer with uh, profound sorrow to the passing day of uh, Sri Mr. Robert Mugabe, former president of Zimbabwe, on the 6th of September 2019 at the age of 95 years. An iconic pan-African leader, Mr. Robert Mugabe played an instrumental role in leading Zimbabwe to its independence in the year 1980. An ardent votary of African issues, and pan-African unity, he served as the Prime Minister of Zimbabwe from 1980 to 1987 and as the President of Zimbabwe from 87 to 2017. He devoted his whole life to the benefit of the people of Zimbabwe. He served as the Chairman of the Non-Aligned Movement from 1986 to 1989. Mr. Bogabe was a true friend of India and contributed immensely to India-Zimbabwe friendship. His demise is an irreparable loss to the Republic of Zimbabwe and its people. In his demise, the world has lost one of the tallest leaders of our times. His ho this house joins the bereaved family, the government and the people of the Republic of Zimbabwe in mourning the passing away of Mr. Robert Mugabe and conveys its heartfelt condolences to them in their hour of grief. We deeply mourn the passing away of Mr. Robert Mugabe. I request the members to raise in their respective places and observe silence as a mark of respect to the memory of the departed. And let's now talk about proceedings in the other house. The Lok Sabha on Tuesday took up the debate on air pollution in Delhi under Rule 193. Congress MP Manish Tiwari opened the debate, saying it's important to give a message to the nation that the house, comprising of the people's representatives, is sensitive and also serious about the issue. The two-hour long debate saw the participation by several MPs from different parties. Bayou Pradushan se ko rokne ke liye 1981 mein Air Act banaya gaya tha. Us Air Act ko aur mazboot karne ki zarurat hai. Usko aur sudhrad banane ki zarurat hai jisse iske upar rok lag sakhe. इसके साथ साथ जनवरी 2018 में सरकार ने एक नेशनल क्लीन एयर प्रोग्राम की घोषणा की थी उसका उद्देश्य तो बहुत अच्छा है पर सरकार ने उसके ऊपर जो आउटले 
इस बजट में रखा है वो सिर्फ 300 करोड़ रुपया है और 300 करोड़ रुपए में इस देश की हवा साफ नहीं होने वाली तो इसलिए मैं सरकार से यह आग्रह करना चाहता हूं कि जब वो ऐसे रचना ऐसे संवेदनशील विषय के ऊपर कोई घोषणा करते हैं और कोई एक्शन प्लान निर्धारित करते हैं उस एक्शन प्लान को एक प्रॉपर फंडिंग के माध्यम से क्रियान्वित करने की रणनीति भी सदन के सामने रखें यू हैव टू टेक सर्टन इंटेरियम स्टेप्स एंड दीज इंटेरियम स्टेप्स विल इन्वॉल्व सम लॉस ऑफ प्रॉफिट सम प्राइवेशन फॉर आर एंटरप्रिनर्स बट इट हैज टू बी डन वी हैव टू बाइट द बुलेट Reply to questions during question hour in the Lok Sabha. Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar informed the House that the government has implemented several schemes to promote organic farming in the country. He also added that for the first time, the agriculture export policy has been prepared. The Agriculture Minister also said that in a bid to boost farmers' incomes, steps are being taken towards zero budget farming. He also informed the house that the government procurement of crops has increased many fold in the last few years. जैविक खेती को बढ़ावा देने के लिए भारत सरकार ने अनेक स्कीमों को संचालित किया है जिससे इसका फायदा आज पूरे देश में मिल रहा है भारत के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में पहली बार कृषि निर्यात नीति बनाई गई है जिसमें हम कृषि निर्यात को दोगुना करना चाहते हैं 2022 तक पांच साल के कालखंड में जो सात लाख की खरीदी थी वो खरीदी इक्यानवे लाख मेट्रिक टन की खरीदी हुई है सर सात लाख के सामने करीबन सौ लाख टन तो ये किसानों के हित में खरीदी सरकार के मदद से हो रही है और उनके दाम सीधे किसानों के अकाउंट में जा रहे हैं अब बिचौलियों को कुछ नहीं मिल रहा है And Minister of State for Home Affairs G Kishan Reddy informed the Lok Sabha on Tuesday that there had been a decrease in the number of stone pelting incidents in the Kashmir Valley post August 5. Replying to another question, the minister said the Jammu and Kashmir administration has informed that around 34,000 tourists, including over 12,000 foreigners, visited Jammu and Kashmir in the last six months, and an income of at least 25 crore rupees was earned through tourism during this period. On to some other news from across the country now. As negotiations are underway for a three-party coalition government in Maharashtra, Congress interim chief Sonia Gandhi on Tuesday chaired a meeting with senior party leaders Malik Arjun Kharge, A.K. Antony, and Ahmed Patel at her residence in New Delhi. The meeting comes a day after she held discussions with NCP chief Sharad Pawar. Both the Congress and the NCP are expected to continue talks on Wednesday as well regarding government formation in Maharashtra. which is currently under the president's rule meanwhile the shiv sena has also called a meeting of all its mlas and senior leaders on 22nd november sena chief udhav thakre is likely to address the meeting which is expected to deliberate on the future course of action in the backdrop of the three parties making efforts to form a government in maharashtra Defence Minister Rajnath Singh who is on a two day visit to Singapore visited the Sembuang Air Base on Tuesday he also took a sortie on a super puma helicopter of the Singapore Air Force in the island city state later he also visited the Shangi Naval Base and met the chief of staff of the Singapore Naval Base Rajnath Singh also paid tribute to one of India's towering leader and great freedom fighter Subhash Chandra Bose and other soldiers at the Indian National Army Memorial in Singapore. He also met former Indian National Army's retired Major Ishwar Lal during the wreathing ceremony at the INA Memorial. Major Lal had served the Indian National Army under the leadership of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. In a Twitter message, the Defence Minister said He was delighted to have met Major Ishwar Lal.
Rajnath Singh arrived in Singapore on Monday night after concluding his visit to Bangkok. The visit would witness him attending the India-Singapore Defence Minister's Dialogue and calling on Prime Minister Lee Sian Lung as well. Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has said that the government's pr uh, priority is to make quality primary health care available to every family. Inaugurating the World Conference on Access to Medical Products Achieving SDG uh, 2030, Harshwardhan said that the government is aiming to set up 40,000 health and wellness centers by next year. At present, 27,000 such centers are already operational in different parts of the country, and he added that the government is aiming to set up 1.5 lakh health and wellness centers by the year 2022 under the Ayushman Bharat Yojana. The objective of the three-day conference is to explore new approaches in innovation landscape in medical products for achieving the universal health coverage and sustainable development goals 2030. भारत में जो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का एक सपना है कि जो सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंटल गोल्स हैं जो खासकर जो हेल्थ से जुड़े हुए इश्यूज हैं उनको हमें समय से पहले पूरा करके दिखाना है सारे लोगों को ये मेडिकल प्रोडक्ट्स और जो मेडिकल से जुड़ी हुई चीजें उपलब्ध करानी है किसी को भी इस वजह से बीमार नहीं पढ़ने देना या बीमारी उसकी ठीक ना हो पाए ये नहीं होने देना कि उसको हम जो है दवा नहीं पहुंचा पाए उसके लिए हम कोई अप्लायंस या इक्विपमेंट या जो भी चीज की जो जरूरत थी जिस स्थान पर वो नहीं पहुंचा पाए तो ये कैसे बेहतर ढंग से करना इसके लिए ये मीटिंग है The IRCTC on Tuesday signed a memorandum of understanding with the Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation to revive the Golden Chariot luxury train service in the southern part of the country The agreement was signed in the presence of Minister of State for Railway Suresh Angadi Minister of Tourism of Karnataka, C.T. Ravi, and Railway Board Chairman, Vinod Kumar Yadav. Addressing the gathering, the Minister of State for Ma Railway Ma said Ma that the Golden Chariot luxury train aims to fulfill the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, that is, to connect tourism destinations across different parts of the country. Tourism Minister of Karnataka also said that the train would give the world a chance to experience beautiful sights and sceneries of the state. Honorable Prime Minister's vision on the day of the 15th August, he addressed to the people of nation, at least each person of the country must see 15 places of the country first. Many people, they are going to see the foreign countries. Our huge amount is giving in dollars to the foreign countries for seeing the tourism. We have best tourism centers in the country, but we are not going to see that. So, it came to my mind, then I told my Chairman CRB, VK Adav Sam, then other dignitaries. Everybody took interest. I'm really happy today. Three World Heritage Monuments, group of Hampi and uh, group of Badami and Patatkalu, Ayuhale and Western Ghat. Uh, we have a 40 and more waterfalls. We have a uh, 1,400 and above. World uh, ASI monuments. We have a 1,400 plus ASI monuments, uh, uh, 17 hill stations, uh, and uh, many more uh, uh, in our state. Uh, uh, I am welcome, wel welcome to you. I'll come to in our state and see our uh, tourism uh, uh, place. The Golden Chariot train, which is modelled on the lines of the famous Northern Circuit train trip, Palace on Wheels, will restart its operations from March next year. The 18-coach long luxury train has 44 guest rooms, which can accommodate 84 guests. It covers tourist attractions in Karnataka as well as in Goa. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India is preparing to introduce interoperable set-top boxes for digital TV broadcasting services. Interoperable set-top boxes will allow subscribers to change operators without changing to new boxes. Similar to mobile phones where the user does not require to buy a new SIM card in order to switch to a new operator. 
Try has initiated a consultation process in this regard. Subscribers will be able to avail service of other companies from the same set-top box. Try aims to provide benefits to subscribers by reducing the expenses for the new set-top box while changing operators as well as controlling electronic waste. एक स्टैंडर्ड हैंडसेट है और आप केवल सिम बदल लीजिए उसी प्रकार से आप सर्विस प्रोवाइडर बदल सकते हैं किस कंपनी से आप टेलीकॉम की सेवाएं लेना चाहते हैं उसी प्रकार से अगर आप ये सेट टॉप बॉक्स भी बिना बदले अपने सर्विस प्रोवाइडर को बदल सकें तो ये बहुत सारी समस्याएं इससे सॉल्व हो जाएंगी तो हम लोगों की यही योजना है और यही प्रयास पिछले कुछ वर्षों से रहा है कि हम लोग एक इंटरऑपरेबल सेट टॉप बॉक्स तैयार करें और उस तैयार किए हुए सेट टॉप बॉक्स को हम लोग स्टैंडर्डाइज करें देश में हर चीज सॉफ्टवेयर ड्रिवन हो रही है तो क्यों नहीं हम ये जितने भी कंपोनेंट ऐसे हैं जो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर से स्पेसिफिक हैं वो कंपोनेंट हम सॉफ्टवेयर से डाउनलोड कर दें तो एक डाउनलोडेबल कैश जो है उसकी परिकल्पना करके हम लोगों ने एक कंसल्टेशन पेपर परामर्श पत्र जिसको बोलते हैं वो फ्लोट किया है जिसमें कि हमने स्टेक होल्डर्स के विचार मांगे हैं कि किस तरह से हम लोग इस सेट टॉप बॉक्स को इंटरऑपरेबल बनाएं और हमने एक डिज़ाइन उसकी या एक आर्किटेक्चर प्रस्तावित की है और उस पर हमने उनकी राय मांगी है The Indian Space Research Organisation will launch its Earth Imaging and Mapping Satellite CartoSat 3 along with 13 commercial nano satellites from the United States next week. The satellites would be launched by PSLV C47 from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh on 25th of November. The CartoSat 3 is a third generation agile advanced satellite having high resolution imaging capability. The newly elected president of Sri Lanka, Gotabaya Rajapaksha, is set to visit India on 29th of this month. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar met the Sri Lankan president in Colombo on Tuesday. He conveyed Prime Minister Modi's message of working together in order to strengthen relationship between the two neighboring countries and also hopes to share a partnership of peace, progress, prosperity and security. Earlier, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had congratulated Gotabaya Rajapaksha for his win in the presidential election in Sri Lanka. And now, let's talk about environment and climate change. Global wind speed has increased substantially since 2010 after decades of decline. Now this means that wind power will help increase the energy production by 37%, making the wind energy industry more and more effective. World's shifting ocean and atmospheric circulation patterns are responsible for the rapid increase in wind speed in the last decade. The increased wind speed can help increase the amount of renewable electricity generated by wind farms by about 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour by the year 2024. So that's it from us in this bulletin. Thank you very much for your time. Watch the big picture with